It's the 24th of September, so I thought we'd just show the allotment as it is now. This is a new plastic shed or shelter which I bought with these up and under lids and keep a bit of fertiliser in there and add a bit of stuff like get down. Now this is my turf stack which I made last November. You can see, oops. see it's all dried off with these sides and then I've made some traditional wooden seed boxes which have been treated with uh, spirit based cupinol a bit deeper than the plastic um, and just that little bit better for seeds and cuttings that need a freer root run. The, the wood wasn't cheap. Wood this year, 2021, has gone up enormously. And here we've got the red Abyssinian banana, which I bought on the net and it came in a little box in uh, May. And you can see how it's grown. Um, put my my hand by one of the leaves you'll see how enormous this is a, a new boy <laughs> um, and we go over to the alocasia that is something similar size uh, new leaf coming there put my hand on it and you can see the size there a new flush of flowers are coming on the fuchsias uh, because I deadheaded them. Love lies bleeding, always do well. That's another one that will make a big plant. Tetrapanix palfarifia rex, that one, which I bought on the net, uh, 15 pounds. That came in June and it's doing well. And here you've got Minicash Cape Pelagoniums, Bedans, Bidans. So doing well. Along with the red castor oil plant, which don't do as well in a pot as what they do in a free root run. These dahlias are last year's tubers, which they're very good for bedding, some of them, like this one, Hillcrest, Firecrest. Not popular for sure, but smaller than the rest, and uh, I like them. The Blue Lake fence beans did well, a great crop, but they're getting past the best now. And we'll just look at the bed of brassicas which in these allotments are plagued with white fly and you see we've got the environ mesh over them supported by these multi plastic uh, heads that you put canes into and so you can get them right away along and we've got them the sides weighted down with um, metal pulse so the white fly can't get in. Now if they do get in I've set a trap for them. If you can see that the yellow sticky things which I've cut in half actually make a greater spread. We've got the a great crop of leeks. <laughs> this one's had a couple of babies. Not to mention the carrots, still come in those carrots. And then here we get on to the show dahlias, which missed the show by two weeks because I hadn't got the timing right. But I learn, I learn, Mr. Holter. Mary's Jamanda. Very popular for show because it's a classic flower.
And here we've got a crop of blight and romance. Beautiful flower, beautiful colour, but late. And here this shows you how late some of them are. There's the bud of Alf Ramsey. <laughs> Should be in flower, but it's not. But there again, all this came from the all the frost in April and all the dark and miserable rain in May. So it's not surprising that the late and here you've got blight and golden girl beautiful yellow western El Grace a miniature And here we've got a favourite of mine, Red Diamond. Can get quite cold, this Red Diamond. And here we've got Lady in Red. Beautiful. Then this is another hill crest, fire crest. And as you can see, it's not as tall as, as some of the others. And at least a great spinach crop. See more carrots, more spinach over there. Water lily flowered, although even it never sees a water. Pam Howden, beautiful. And then just to finish off with the old favourite Edinburgh. So that's the allotment on this day, the 24th of September over and